Hi everyone and welcome. How are you guys doing? Um, lots, lots going on now. I wanted to pop on and, and share some messages with you that I have been receiving over the last days. And the perspectives uh, they're giving me on what's going on physically, energetically and externally. Um, and I will also talk a bit about what I said I wanted to do a separate video on last time which is connecting into nature uh, and starting to really open up and, and listen more to nature because it's really important uh, in the time coming. And it's something that we haven't been uh, trying to, well, we have really been programmed out of it because we are naturally connected to nature. So I will do that a bit in this video and also um, share some of what I've been receiving on the physical body now, uh, also about the children. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll see um, as I look at my notes. Um, there's so many different things. Um, so I just found out it's better to do it, to just sit down and do it and, and share it in one video. So when it comes to the nature, what I've been receiving is that it will start so our earth mother earth is a consciousness she's a living being she's a consciousness and she will start moving more because the energy is shifting she's adjusting there's a new grid all of this the inner earth more energy coming up from the core of the earth the sun activating crystals within the earth and things will start moving the crystals start moving um, the oceans um, and so everything will start moving. It's all interconnected. Now, what I've been telling me over some time is that there will be more movement in the elements. So connecting in with the elements. And if you're sitting now thinking, I don't know how to do it. I never hear something. Um, I, I don't see things. Uh, how can I do that? That's a really, really important belief to become aware of first in the first place. Because if you think that you can't receive, if you think that you can't feel anything, then you're just telling yourself that you can't and you're not opening up for the potential that you actually can. So we are in a physical body and our physical body is of the earth. It's connected. It's made of the same things as animals, as the earth. It is an animal. And if you look at animals, we can see that they are moving. They are picking up on things sometimes before it happens with movements um, on the earth. And so can we. It's it's just in us. Uh, but we have been very, 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 very trained out of it uh, for a long, long, long time. So some people will feel this more easily uh, and some people will not, but everyone can. And this is the point. Okay. So starting to really consciously working with this and connecting in. So connecting into the air, connecting mm -hmm. into the earth, connecting into fire and water. They have said that the earth will be moving. And sometimes just like really doing a deep grounding. Um, sometimes you can feel, um, I think, you know, people experience this in different ways. So the way I sometimes feel earthquakes, for example, before they happen, uh, maybe in a different type of way or a different experience than you do. So I, I just want to keep it very open for uh, for you because it's the important thing is that you connect into you that you open up uh, and then to stay in your heart space that you're grounded and then just you just open to start to to just know that there is information coming in from all the elements and from nature all the time and to just learn and practice to be open and tune into this so the earth they've been saying and again this is not to create any fear uh, at all uh, and we know there has been a lot of earthquakes lately um, and there might well be more of them 
and this has to do with the energy and so if we are connected into it and we can feel it we can sometimes feel things before it happens um, what i said is that to live in harmony and connection with the nature is not to be in control of but to know feel be open to and listen to nature tells before it moves um, so instead of being afraid of the forces of the nature starting to learn to listen to it to work with it to be in tune with it and and remember that we are in the in the very physical body and we are a part of nature so this is inherent in us it, it's it's natural but if we are closing off and this is only a perspective right it's only a shift in the perspective so if we open up to listening to receiving just sitting down by the water for example whether it's the ocean a creek river lake um, even the water you have in your shower um, and you just sit down and you tune in and you just open to receive whether you hear something whether you feel something or not but just opening for that flow just feeling it what what feeling does it give me what sound is it what texture just really open the senses and start start experiencing it and just the awareness that we can experience the elements in this wise um, mm. and and practicing it and being open to be in the flow with it opens to to be more in harmony and more in in connection with it um, also with water so I've been receiving messages um, and again it's channeled information if it resonates take it listen to it if it doesn't resonate you just leave it um, it's a perspective it's not the one and only truth um, so I, I just really want that to be very clear with all these kind of messages so I, I know I repeat that often what I've said is that there will be people uh, experiencing too much water and there will be people experiencing too little water. And this is something if you just feel into your heart, you feel into your body and not making any decisions out of fear, um, but just feeling into what is maybe connecting in with the water and just sitting with the water. Will it be good for me to have some extra water in my house or is there a like a time I feel cold suddenly out seemingly out of nowhere to just be in a different location or things like this. This is the natural intuition that we have and we are really being encouraged to start listening to it or to listen more to it. I've gotten a couple of lessons uh, lately that was very clear on this when I take it sort of a bit lightly and just yeah well I pay attention to it but I'm like I have time and it's not it's not now and it it, it is so I've gotten a couple of reminders that are um, really clear on that now it's it's not the time now to not listen to your intuition it is your guidance your heart and your intuition that's your best guidance it's not coming from a video you're watching um, it's not coming from the medias it's not coming from people you know any authority any you can gather information from wherever you want and then you can take it in but you always come back to you your empowerment your own heart your feeling your intuition what it tells you what do you feel directed to and it's okay to be feeling in despair feeling anger fearing feeling super joyful um, and anything in between um, you know we're there's a wide range of emotions people are feeling now uh, and a wide range of states people are in at the moment some people are experiencing really really big struggles um, 
and some people are feeling that suddenly now finally things are starting to make sense and starting to feel that the old is unplugged and even though it looks challenging out there there's this deeper certainty and and relief almost because we know it's it's changing um and it can shift between those states or other states throughout the day even it's it's a lot going on now so always have a lot of compassion for yourself and for others because they navigate the same world as you they have a different path um than you uh we don't always know what everyone else is going through so have compassion for others and really nurture yourself and, and honor yourself and stand in your truth as i as i keep saying um but when it comes to the nature and the elements so especially the earth and the water is what i have been talking about a lot the last couple of weeks well the water really for months i was talking about that in videos this summer as well the other aspect of the water and the importance of starting to tune into water and working with the water and connecting with the water only like the water you're drinking for example um is because we have a lot of water in our bodies and our bodies are changing a lot because we are raising in frequency and so connecting with water would also help you to connect you with your body because you have so much water in it and if you start working with water and you start opening up to working with the minerals with everything that earth holds you are also connecting deeper into your body because it's what your body contains um, and also with the water you're drinking you know you have so many practices you can do you can have the water beside you for example where you're in a meditation and then that you're just opening for love just being in your heart space and then you're drinking your water afterwards or holding around a glass of water and really holding it a beautiful intention love joy feeling those feelings and really putting it into the water and drinking it and and let it be in the body these kind of practices um but really work with it and be open to receive from it um is what i really want to encourage you guys to because the more we start to live in this interconnectedness not only with other humans um which can be challenging to see at the moment um but it's the it's what we are moving towards but all that interconnectedness also with the nature um with animals with all living beings and as i've been talking about as well with the um with the land uh sort of the awakening of the land and the energies that are coming up and activating um the lands what i've been receiving is that the indigenous tribes are together so i've been seeing this over some time that there are like councils of elders from different tribes around the world of the indigenous people that are together and really working together now um and working with the energies of the land so it's still a lot of activation of the land which means that old wisdom can come up and also a lot of um ancestral things that we will need to to let go of that might be coming up in order to clear everything of the old um and they said that the interconnectedness is the baseline for everything new that will arise and i said and i thought it was really beautiful we will bless each other's frequency and in acceptance we will all rise so this interconnectedness is also something because we know the importance of our programs our beliefs um how much it structures everything that we see and experience and the way we understand it and the meaning it has for us um and hence the actions we make the choices we make all of this so starting really opening and and thinking in terms or playing with like how would this be if it was more interconnected how would this aspect of life be in a more interconnected um 
why you know with workplace with nature ways of living the systems in society and start playing with this and start playing with joy for example they said um, let me find that because i have it written down um, yeah, because they say focus on, on finding the solutions. Um, yeah, and be aware of the way you look at things, um, to see the joy and to feel the laughter. Can you also work in joy? And then I said, can you create a life not based on achieving through struggle? But focus on your joy in everything and the way you're creating your new life because we are creating a new life even though it looks really really challenging and it can be hard when everything is collapsing and falling we are creating the new simultaneously and it's really important to be aware of what what emotion what feeling what energy do i want to create a new from so as at the same time as we are releasing as we're feeling whatever go is going on in the body as we are facing whatever is being presented in front of us watching uh, the things happening in the world dealing with everything also really be aware of what am i wanting to create what energy do i want to be in so it's both the like not suppressing or denying what is challenging but actually what is presented to you deal with it if it's trip if it's triggering you it's yours to release it's yours to you know it's a it's an opportunity to free yourself even more so then we do that but then we also move into what energy do i actually take action from what energy do i want to create a new from and this that I said um, about can you create a life not based on achieving through struggle? That's also a really deep program that we have that everything has to be a struggle in order for it to be good or for us to achieve something or be successful or you name it. Um, so starting to play with this and, and think and, and let yourself go a bit outside the structure that you you have been in because we will create a new from a new consciousness so it's not we're not solving a problem on the same frequency we have to come on a higher frequency to cre create a solution and create a new and that does not come from the structured mind that we have had in the programmed system that we have been in um let me just have a look at my notes so I don't forget anything. Um, yes, then the children. So, no, first identity structures. So as we, as I talked about uh, in the last video about us moving towards this personal portal, um, a lot of what we are experiencing now is identity structures that are that we need to let go of because our personality and what we identify as is not who we truly are and so to rise above the version that we once were and move into this new version that we are moving into with a higher frequency moving like i said with the system it's the same thing on a on an individual level right so as we're moving towards this portal, we are having to let go of beliefs and patterns that are deeply ingrained in the identity structure that we hold. So it's like I say, I'm normally, I am the biggest problem in my life. Probably always, I'm the biggest problem in my own life, but I'm also the solution in my life. And so that is the that is the personality, that is the mind, that is the structure, that is the program, right? That is behind or between the body and the consciousness, the soul that is coming into the body. What we identify 
us, our ways, our patterns, our beliefs, all of this. So in this period, there is a lot as we are sort of unwinding all of this uh, from the inside. Um, it can be challenging for the ego because the ego is very, very attached to these identity structures. It's so, so intertwined. Um, so there can be struggles uh, for the ego. Um, but really keep in mind this with the feeling what something comes from. Feel into the energy of something and start opening the mind because that's really where the where the restriction is that's where the lack of freedom is so the more we can open the mind and come into the heart and start to let this to work together and follow our intuition we will be creating new things and we will also in that process have to let go of what we thought we were even more than we have been um, and that's something that is happening for a lot of people right now. Then the children, they have said uh, that in the time coming, there will be many children um, that will be activated. So when I say activated, I don't mean that there's something outside doing something to them, right? So it's a resonance. Just like with the adults, there's a resonance within there's something with the same frequency, maybe that is activating them from the outside, or it's just a collective energy that is reaching a point where they have decided from another, from a higher perspective that when it reaches this point or when this certain thing happens, or when I come in contact with this certain frequency, then there's something turning on in the body. Then there's a remembrance turning on. Um, which again ties into the water and the, and the cells, right? Because these changes are happening in the cells and there's a lot of water. So all of it is interconnected, as I, I will probably say this 10,000 times more. So just, <laughs> just bear with me. Um, but as they are then being activated and they start to remember why they are here, they start to remember um, technology, for example, because a lot of the new technology that I've been talking about that it will be coming is coming from these children. So they are bringing in a lot of new technology. It doesn't mean that they need to reach the age of 30, 40, 50, 60 to bring this in. Um, they will start bringing it in at a very early age because they will just remember and this is something that will be starting now so more children will be remembering will be activating um, and they said that they will start talking and they will be seen uh, they've also said that the children uh, the children will know um, when the oceans will start moving um, they're also a part, big part of the new structures, which I think is quite obvious. Um, their mind, so this is also because their minds are free from the programming. They're not as deeply programmed as we were. Um, and they are here to be free. And then they have been repeating time and time and time again, they will be seen. The children will be seen. The children will be seen. Um, and what they're telling me that these children really need is to be listened to, to feel safe and to be supported in what they're bringing in. Um, to not try to put our structured mind on to them because it won't work um, but to assist them in feeling empowered feeling safe in their body feeling feeling safe to be who they are and to to talk about what they 
what I want to talk about, when they want, um, is really the well in assisting them, um, is what I have been, been saying. And so I've already gone on for 25 minutes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, okay, real quick, um, two things in the end. There's a lot uh, of a bit weird things happening now. There's a lot of things going on in the body, um, especially in the head, um, the heart area and the solar plexus. So the more we are moving into our empowerment, the more we are becoming our truth, the more we are speaking our truth, the more we are being authentic and in integrity, the stronger we are getting in our solar plexus as well, the more we are being in our hearts, the more we are emanating this frequency that we truly really are um, and coming from our hearts and not so much from the mind as we have been the energy starts moving more and more up and there are new gateways let's say of energy that are opening in the body that we haven't been able to hold previously is what i've been shown um and there's a lot of activations many are experiencing with the third eye and the crown as well so this whole area there can be uh symptoms uh, and also with the eyes, dizziness, um, sudden rashes and purging. These are things that I just said that there are a lot of people that are experiencing this now. That has to do with uh, the energetics and the shift in the body. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not telling you that all of these symptoms are only from energetic uh, reasons and related to what I'm talking about. So feel into you and your body always no matter what it what it's about um if there's something going on in your body and you feel like going to a doctor you do go to a doctor um but i would just want to mention this um uh, in case there's something you're experiencing and it doesn't quote unquote make sense for you um this can be completely normal drinking water being in nature resting uh, moving the body when it needs to these things can help just whatever you feel like ask your body um, your body will tell you there's also a lot i think more and more people will experiencing be, will be experiencing sort of glitches and like several like just time not not working um I've had experiences lately where I've been receiving a message. So it comes up on my phone. I've received a message from this person. Um, and then I come back to my phone later to open the message. It's not there. I go in uh, and I see there's no message there. I send a message to this person asking, did you send me a message? Because it, it disappeared, but it did come up on my screen. And this person hadn't sent me any message. So like these kind of things, um, lights moving around suddenly, um, all these kind of things can happen now, which is because, because the old structure is, is falling and the new is rising. So I keep seeing almost like a, how can I explain this? Um, So it's almost like it's cascading, but upwards, like these amazing colors and, and beings. And I see humans as well. So it's not only like angelic beings and galactic beings. It's all, it's also human beings, um, completely normal human beings all together in this really beautiful light. And it's coming together and then emerging up. And then there's coming like a new from inside and and moving up and then another circle of humans and it's it's representing all so that interconnectedness on on an interdimensional level because there's angelic beings there's galactics there's 
elementals, uh, there are humans, all different kind of beings um, and beautiful energies. So as all of these in all of these dimensions are becoming more and more in our experience, we can have the, more of these sort of weird glitches and experiences. And also, as I said, as the frequency is rising and it's moving quicker, time is experienced as quicker. Um, so there's more information coming on, coming in in a shorter amount of time. Um, but a lot, a lot of weird things uh, can be experiencing, uh, be experienced. Also, a lot happening in dream state. Um, both clearing of old things, maybe some things that will be coming, interdimensional things, there's so many different layers to it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I wanted to read up one part that I received yesterday, um, because I think it can be um, be of assistance of, for some of you. Now, when I read up this part, I want you to remember that when the word dark or darkness is used, the way they use that word um, they have explained me before is not as, so we have the dark and the light, right? So it's, they explain it as a lower frequency light. It's not anything to fight or anything that is bad or so it's not to create that polarity. That's not the, what they're talking out from, but it's it's so when they're saying like darkness that we will well that we might be experiencing that we might come to experience. Um, it is from that perspective. Um, just so you have that in mind. But I said that in the darkness, you are the light. When it's dark, you will find the light within. Nothing or no one can take your light. Only distract you from seeing it. You are in times of emergence of light. You will see the dark be your light. You always have your light. I think that was beautiful and says a lot. So with that I will end this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you again for all of your comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know there are still some comments being removed. It's not me, it's YouTube. So please just keep commenting. And thank you to everyone sharing the videos. That's very helpful. So I really appreciate that. Um, I wish you a beautiful day, um, evening, morning, wherever you are. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Take really good care of yourself. Bye bye.